Hello and welcome to Adventures in VFK. This is Fairy Fanatic and we are playing the Miss Clue game Cruise Most Deadly. Uh, today we're going to do chapter 10 which is our next chapter and I'm so excited about this. I mean this is really great. These, I mean this, we just made something called Dream Gas. It is just the most amazing stuff but at the same time I really believe that we got caught by the pirates. I think they're back and we were in the room making this dream gas so we may have to use it against them. I don't know what we're going to do with it but we do have a weapon and if the if the pirates have caught us then we're ready to go. We're ready to use it. So let's go find out. Let's find out what happened. Okay. The suspense. need to be ready for action here. Perfect. At least I have something to fight back with now against the smugglers. But maybe they really are more pirates than smugglers. <gasps> smugglers! Oh, Yakapu. Uh, you nearly scared me half to heavens. death. I thought you were the smugglers. <laughs> I just knocked over the barrel. All right, so let's look what he's got here. He's always finding neat stuff, so let's check out what he came up with. What do we have here? This looks like a map of some caverns I've never seen. I wonder if they're even on this island. It's a nice this looks map. like a hand-drawn map. And here in the corner it says Captain Horatio. I wonder if this is the smuggler's map. Well, from the latitude and longitude, Yes, this must be another map of my island. Let's see what we have here. It looks like a ways offshore there's a barrier reef just below the waterline and extending across most of this beach. The reef would make this beach a natural harbor during a storm. In fact, if the smugglers were caught here and those who want to attack the smugglers weren't aware of that reef, they would likely run aground and the smugglers could escape. That makes this harbor just about perfect for smugglers. Looking at these depth curves, it seems that the only way into this harbor is through the one channel next to the outcropping of rocks marked by the lighthouse. That's why those smugglers were checking the lighthouse beacon. Without the lighthouse right here, there would be no way they could navigate into the harbor at night or if there was a thick fog. In fact, the pirates have to come right through this channel. There just has to be some way to trick those pirates and get them to wreck their boat on the rocks. After all, they may still have Evelyn and her dad on board, and it may be my only chance to rescue them. That's true. They may be, Evelyn and her dad may be actually on the pirate's boat still. We're pretty sure that they're the one, this, these the smugglers that, that got them. Unless you've got another group of smugglers out there, and that doesn't seem plausible, so... Well, let's see now. Um, you know, let's go check out. Let's go check out the lighthouse. You know, it's. I just think that let's go. Let's go see if there's anything there we can do to the light. Or I don't know. She seems to be hinting pretty strongly that we should try to stop them somehow. And let's just go back over there and see if we can see if there's anything that we can do. Yakapu. There they are. Let's get the right one. And watch out for the trap door. I guess it's locked now, but you know, just in case they came back, we just need to be careful. This lighthouse is pretty, seen, kind of seen better days. I wonder if this really is portable. I would have to have a wrench if I was going to find out. Ah, uh, wrench. Uh, okay. Um, wrench, 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 wrench. Let's think. Okay, there's wrenches 
probably in the boat. But you know, they also there's also that workshop area that's down in the caves, and that's that's pretty close. I guess let's check the caves first. And we can actually walk down to the caves now. It's pretty easy. And let's go on in and see if we can check out that room that has the the tools in it. And see if there's anything there we can use. This one we can just go in. But see there's some things hanging over here. Let's let's go see if there's any of these that we can pick up. Um, oh, those are no, great. No, that won't work. Uh, this wrench looks like the right size. All right, well, let's take that one. All right, let's head back. Let's go over to the lighthouse again. Just see, this is kind of a quick path over there to the lighthouse. And we're back. We need to get the key. There's a lot of keys in this. Thank goodness the koala goes ahead and can find keys. Right, let's go back up to the light. Alright, so, what do we do here? I should Wrench. be careful with this. These gases can be explosive. Let's take it off. I guess we'll do the back one first. Front one first? Uh, I guess let's do the back one first. That's good. I have the oxygen hose disconnected. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm glad we have a second chance here. Another chance. Alright, uh, that's not gonna work. Um, I, maybe we better turn off these things first. See, let's look over here and see if there's. Ah, oh, see, there's a valve. Let's turn off the valves. That's better. The acetylene is off. And let's do this one. Okay, that turns off the oxygen. All right. So now let's see if we can disconnect without. That's good. Up. I have the oxygen hose disconnected. Great. Now the acetylene is disconnected. Great. So now I have the hoses disconnected. I guess let's see if we can pick this up. It looks pretty heavy, but... This really fine. isn't as heavy as I thought. I can definitely move it. That's good. Let's go on down. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Let's get down here and see if there's some place that we can hide it, or... I don't know. Let's, let's, well, we can go over here. Let's check over here. Oh. Let's set it down here and see what, you know what, this looks like a good place for it. Looks like we can set it down. Let's try it. Yes, the beacon would set here just great. In fact, having the beacon here would be the cat's meow. When the smugglers navigated their way into the harbor using the lighthouse beacon relocated here, they would end up wrecking their boat on the rocks because the smugglers would think they were in the channel, but instead they would be well to the right of the channel. Deviously clever if I say so myself. Just two problems. First, there's no way I can haul those pressure tanks up here. And second, I end up with a beach full of wet, angry pirates who are stranded on the island with me. Worst of all, they would know somebody was here. Okay, deviously clever, but not very useful. I'd better put this back and reconnect it if I don't want to be discovered. Well, that's a good idea. You know, there's got to be some way we can do this. Um, possibly we'll come across some solution to being able to move that light because that really does look like the solution for foiling the pirates. All right, well, let's go put it back up. Back in its place because we we really don't want the pirates to know we're here and come looking for us and we're just kind of right out in plain Perfect. sight over there. On now that all that's left is to reconnect this. Okay, so we reconnect. Great, these. now the acetylene is connected. 
That's good. I have the oxygen hose disconnected. And we better turn them back on so they don't suspect that we were here. They left That's everything better. all set the up. The acetylene is back on. That's good. I have the oxygen turned on. That should do it. Everything is reconnected and working. Since Great. those smugglers could show up as early as tonight, I better start getting everything back in its place so they can't tell I'm here. I suppose I should start with the captain's quarters and then just work backwards. You know, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of work, so let's go ahead and end the episode here. This seems like as good a place as any. And we will start next time by going and retracing our steps and putting everything back where it goes so they don't know we're here. All right, well, um, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.